If you're looking to get into the real estate industry, but you think you're too young, then this is the video for you. My name is Melanie Winches and I'm a local realtor here in Kamloops, BC. I have been in the industry for about five years. Um, I first started when I was 22. I made over 100K. Um, this year, I might be shooting for 200K. Yeah, it's absolutely insane. So if you think you're too young, you're not. And I'm gonna share some tips with you on how to market yourself as a young agent and be a good representative and professional in this industry. I really do think that like anyone can do this job. Like as long as you like talking to people, you don't even have to like talking to people. You just have to be self-disciplined, self-motivated. I think the best thing that you can do as a young agent is to partner with someone experienced. I did work as an assistant for about three summers before I got my license. That was when I was going through college. You don't need a degree getting into real estate, but I thought it would be helpful for me. Um, that was like when I was 19, 20, 21. And then as soon as I was done my degree, I was basically getting my real estate license right away. Even before I got my license, I was also an assistant for someone in town. What I looked for when partnering with someone experienced was someone who didn't actually already have the help. There's lots of teams out there, but I find that the best way to start new is if you can partner with a listing agent who's really busy and doesn't have the time to chase buyer leads. Uh, I did work with a ton of buyers my first year. I think it was like 27 out of my 30 deals were all buyers. Um, I just f found it easier. I didn't know a ton of people in the town I'm in. This isn't where I raised. I have been here for four years, but at the same time, listings, like getting listings, are a bit more personal and you have to work a little bit harder for them. I am focusing on that more this year, like in my second year. I think, uh, let me look at my board. I've had six listings already this year. Um, it's February. So that's pretty good. I've really focused on it because I just needed to get in my head that I am a listing agent. Even if you're new, you can still be a listing agent. Um, but yeah, I sort of got off topic there. Going back to partnering with someone experienced, make sure they want to teach you. Um, they want to support you. They just like are going to be there to answer all of your questions. They're not just going to hand you a lead and then disappear. You basically want to be able to shadow them around everywhere, watch how they talk, pick up their language, and also use that. So I think partnering with someone is really important. Honestly, if you're nervous to sell real estate and you don't own a house yet, like I've, I'm still renting, I still believe that I am a hundred times better than some of the other professionals out there because I answer my phone, I get back to my clients, I do what I'm going to say, I am available at all times for questions. I am there to support my clients. And even if I'm not, you know, I'm not working with hundreds of clients, I have the time to get back to them. And as well, I am like always learning. I'm always digging to answer the question if I don't know it. I'm not gonna care. Like I care so much about my clients. I truly believe that I am one of the best professionals that they can work with. One of the best things that I can say to you is that people like to work with people they like, if that makes sense. Let me say it again. People like to work with people they like. Like if you get along really, really well and you know, have you have a great time at your showings, you're laughing, um, you get back to them, they're not waiting on you always. Like they wanna work with you and they'll do more business with you. And they'll also tell their friends about their experience. I think that like really paying attention to the whole process they're going through, understanding their emotions, just being there for them is really, really important. Um, and I think that if you're just there to hold their hand through the whole thing, uh, that's great. And it really doesn't matter how old you are, like at all. I think maybe one person has asked how old I am. They just assume that I'm older, which is great. I don't mind that. Um, and then when I have listing appointments, I do like to bring my partner along with me. He backs me up. He can do the blurb of like, oh yeah, I'm in the industry for 15 years. Um, it does help occasionally having that, you know, experienced person behind you. I do love having him. So I bring him on my listing appointments, but generally like working with buyers, it's just me and them. And as long as you create a relationship with them, rather than taking it as a transaction, 
and that's super important and they're gonna work with you again in the future. My next tip is to be really active on social media. Post once a day and be consistent about it and let people get to know you, let people get to know your personality. Go for coffee with other agents around the town so they know who you are. Go for coffee with, like at Zoom coffee with people who are three hours out of town with you, I meaning other agents. Um, the more people you talk to every single day will really help your business. I've learned that if you talk to eight new people every day, your business is gonna go just fine. Like you'll have enough business for the whole year. And you do determine how busy you are with how hard you work. And that just goes into the work ethic and what you wanna make your business. I don't like to have like super high expectations. I like to think that I'm building my brand for the long run. Like I wanna be in the industry for 10 years. Uh, I know everyone's different. Some people might only be doing it for a short little while to see if they like it or not. But you know, you don't have to like put so much pressure on yourself for like having everything happen now. Um, real estate is a long game like who you talk to today might like you might do nothing with them for three to six months like it's a really long game real estate so just be patient with it and just know that if you're doing you're in your routine you're doing every single task that you want to do every day and you're sticking to it uh, then you're going to be a super great agent basically what i want to do is create two blogs a week i want to do two youtubes as well I basically take the blogs off of my YouTube videos and just write it about it. And then I want to meet five agents a week and eight new contacts every single day. It doesn't matter who they are, just have a general conversation with them. You can go follow people on your Instagram page, uh, make a comment, reply to their story, literally anything. So they start to see your name. And then I'm also looking at the inventory every single day in the market. I want to know exactly what a townhouse is listed for, like a three bedroom townhouse. I want to tell you exactly what they're priced at. So then when someone asks me on the side, I'm going to know or like a single family house in that exact neighborhood, what they're selling around for. I should already have an idea. Of course, I'm not going to tell them a price right on the spot. I'll say, yes, I'm going to go do some research for you. I'll send you a comparative market analysis later today and go do your research, pull some comparable properties. We like to call them relevant properties because people don't always think their house is comparable to someone else's, but know the market inside and out. And that's also one thing you can do as a new agent, especially a young one is just like know your facts down to the T even little things like how much does a hot water tank cost to replace or stuff like that. You can, you'll, you'll start to know when you come across those and you're renovating places yourself or you're hearing about investors renovating places and they, t they tell you the cost, you'll start to pick it up um, and learn it. But you can also go research it yourself too. So just be like a knowledge hub. If you wanna be a professional, you have to know everything. So go do your research. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions for me, please leave a comment and like and subscribe. See you in my next one.